What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we finally did it, guys. We defeated Misty. You know, we're, you know, 13 badges in. A little heavy, you know, that kind of stuff. That's right. And not only that, but we got ourselves the, what was it called? The Magnet Train Pass? So now we can go to Johto and uh, do whatever the heck we want. So now that we solved the problem with the power plant, there is a little something something we need to take care of. Yes, a little something something. And that is, we need to go back to Lavender Town because, well, uh, duty calls. And uh, we must save Kanto because, well... Our former self is hidden somewhere in Mount Silver or something. I don't even know. But here we are in Lavender Town. Now, after completing this whole, you know, um, after completing the whole uh, situation up at the power plant, you can come here and you can talk to the power plant, or you can talk to the manager right here. And he's going to be like looking at you. He's like, ah, so you're Draven who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. And we loaded our stuff with the expansion card, which now we can actually, you know, we can actually hear radio stations in Kanto. And uh, there is a little something something in uh, this expansion card that will actually make this uh, a, little bit, a little bit more beneficial. As you guys can tell, yes, Latias is around here. If you guys forgot, in the last episode too, we ran into Steven Stone, and he told us about how um, Latias made its way here in the Kanto region. Now, if you're playing Soul Silver, it's gonna be Latios. So let's go right ahead, and uh, let's see, where's he? Okay, that's the wrong guy. Let's go right here, and you got yourself some radio stations. But the one that's important of importance right here is not this that town these people buenas passwords um it has to be somewhere right here hold on nope where are you where? there you go the pokey flute channel now we don't have any more pokey flutes here so what needs to happen is we have to go straight to our good old buddy snorlax in order to get that or in order to wake it up and by using that radio expansion card, it would actually help us out to wake this Pokemon up. So now I got to check on something. Now the Pokeball is right here. Do I have any Heavy Balls? No, I don't have any Heavy Balls. Okay. Eh, it's no biggie. Maximum if, uh, effort. Let's go straight. Uh, let's go straight to Snorlax. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in Vermilion City, guys. Now the the way you have to wake. Snorlax up. It's very simple. All you have to do is go straight to the radio channel that you just that you just saw, and go straight to Snorlax and just click A. So what we're gonna do now is do this. Turn it on, and all you need to do now, which I'm gonna actually do right now first, is I'm gonna save my game because this is the only Snorlax you could find. And there it is. Snorlax opened its eyes wide. Okay, so here it is guys. We're taking on a level 50 Snorlax. This Pokemon is an asset to have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flash it. That way this Pokemon doesn't hit us, hurt us or anything. And wow, just like that, beat the tar crap out of us. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so let's go with Hercules and let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon because we do need Fluffle for this situation. And let's see. Go ahead and use a. Let's go with a full restore. There we go. And this Giga Impact is gonna mess us up. Let's go with another full restore to this guy. Giga Impact is just like. It's just like what was it called? Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, it's just like Hyper Beam. Hit it one time. Expect it to get hit a lot or get hit hurt. Uh, get hurt. But then there's a recharge period, and as you guys can see. Snorlax does have a... He, it does have the, the leftovers, meaning it can recover every turn after HP has been taken away. So, here we go. And it's being recovered. And, you know what? Let's go with a flash. And flash again. Flash again. There we go. Giga Impact. And it's... God dang it. Okay, so... The plan is for this Pokemon to just get paralyzed while I'm still here. So, there we go. You must recharge. Go right ahead. 
And, well, let's go with a charge beam. And, okay, so we can no longer escape. And, and that right there, roll out. Yes, okay, so it is paralyzed. And, okay, so I think we should go with a timer ball right here. Let's go with the timer ball. Nope, can't move. Timer ball. There it is, we caught ourselves a Snorlax. <laughs> Okay, so there it is, guys, throwing out that B sign. That's right, I am the goat. And, uh, well, here it is, Snorlax the sleeping Pokemon. What sounds like a cry may actually be its snores or the rumblings of his uh, hungry belly. Oh, wow. Or it might just fart or something. I don't even know. But, yes, guys, we're going to be nicknaming it its legendary nickname. Snorlax, I bequeath you the name Tank. So there it is, guys. We got Tank. That's right, Tank is going back into the PC. That is another level 50 Pokemon that we can use, and because of that, we are now enabled to go into the Diglett's Cave. And, well, the Diglett's Cave is uh, pretty unique right here. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. That was surprising. Okay. Let's go right ahead and not get attacked by these Diglets because I, yeah, I just don't want to get, I don't want to get attacked. Uh, let's go ahead and use some Super Repels. And GTFO because, okay, not that. Let's go back. And let's go all, let's get the heck out of here. Now, they have added quite a few things here. As you can see, there was a Pokeball here and there. And the only way you can get up there is through Rock Climb. And, well, we don't have Rock Climb just yet. That is for a little bit later on. And as you guys can see, there is an exit right here. And here we are, guys, Route 2. And we're going to be finding ourselves a Carbos. Definitely a, a, an item that, you know, we can use and all that stuff. That cannot... Okay, so we cannot leave there. And what if we go right here? Crapsicles. Okay, so it looks like to me we're going to be needing a Pokeball or we're going to be needing a Pokemon with Cut. So give me the that Apricorn. And let's see... Right here, talk to this guy. Oh my god, uh, oh my good nuggets, you're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm going uh, crazy with joy. Since you took the, uh, since you look bright as a nugget, let me give you a little present and we get ourselves a nugget, which, you know, gives us a lot of money. And, well, let's see. Our repel has worn off. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. Now, if you go into towards this entrance, this person right here is going to notice you. He's like, so you're Draven. Professor Oak is waiting for you in his Pokemon lab. Also, I received this from him. He wants you to have this. We got ourselves a Sacred Ash. That is our second one. Now, the Sacred Ash is a, an amazing item that can revive all fainted Pokemon. Of course, the other Sacred Ash you can actually grab is through a Ho-Oh once you captured it. And I already have it on my... Well, I already have it in my... Uh, yeah, I do have it in my, whatchamacallit, my, my bag. Yeah, it looks like to me I need a, a Pokemon that knows cut in order to get through here, so... Yeah. What's gonna happen, guys, is I'm gonna go off screen, get myself a Pokemon that knows cut, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I'm a little annoyed that we have to actually use cut, yeah, just to get through this whole area right here, but here it is, guys. We are in Pewter City, and this place... It, there, there's been some kind of change right here, and that is that, you know, well, it's not a lot. This is the rugged mountains and all that stuff. Now, big things that you need to find around here, that is, let's go ahead and talk to this individual looking up in this hill. Ah, you came all this way here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like, a, what I was uh, like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto, and here we have the Silver Wing. If you guys are playing Pokemon Soul Silver, this will be the Rainbow Wing. And well, that right there accomplishes something. Yes, we are now enabled to go get Lugia, which uh, you know eventually we will get there. Eventually, yeah. That is going to be for another episode, and quite possibly we might be using that Pokemon for like a big-ass battle and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure right here into into uh, Kanto, or with, uh, you know, into, uh, what was it called, Pewter City. Now, here we have the, 
the what you call it the museum. This at one point was closed, and yes, this is the photographer. So looks like we're gonna be taking a picture with the wrong team and all that stuff. But this is the Pokemon Museum, and well, there's not a lot right here. But if you talk to this guy, did you know that you can extract Pokemon from fossils? If you ever need to, let me take care of it for you. Hey, you don't have any fossils. I heard sometimes you can find fossils when you smash rocks at the ruins of Elf and other places. That right there is big because we didn't know that. Anywho, let's go right ahead and let's see. There is an there really isn't a lot to do except go into the next gym battle. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to switch up our Pokemon and we're going to go straight to the next gym. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And well, it is finally time for us to go take on the Pewter City Gym Leader. If you guys remember, Brock happened to be the very first Gym Leader we face in the Kanto Adventures. Now, he happens to be either like the sixth or seventh. Nah, he might be. Yeah, he might be the sixth. He's always the sixth. And because of that, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Nessie. Let's give Nessie a little bit of love right here. And bam. Let's see what light years you have. The trainers of the gym used to rock type Pokemon. Rock type have uh, high defenses, battles, could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? I think we are. So here we go, guys, taking on Camper Jerry. And he is coming out with his right on. These guys are no joke. And look at this, I am no joke myself because I have learned, or I have taught, uh, Nessie Surf. If you guys remember, when we got the Magnet Train Pass, we went, we paid a little visit back to uh, Blackthorn City in order to switch up the moves because, well, we kind of needed a, a better move and all that stuff. And then I realized that you don't really need the Magnet Train in order to get to Johto. All you need to do is fly to Victory Road and fly back to Johto so yes again not the smartest guy in there but you know what I mean guys so here we are taking on Golem all right Golem bring it on here we go surf attack don't be uh you know what and uh put my Pokemon to sleep or anything like that with uh you know that move called explosion or self-destruct and well there it is bam look at this Edwin you have been defeated Okay, so what is next? Brock. Okay, so Brock is here and he's gonna be like, oh, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Pokemon gym leader. I'm an expert at rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! So here it is, guys, gym battle number 14. And it is up, it is up against our good old buddy, Brock. And yes, he's gonna have five Pokemon in all. Most of them at level 40s. Some at level 50s. So let's go with a Rain Dance. And let's power up our Nessie. Let's go right ahead and just destroy everybody. So here it is. Oh yes. Oh yes. And there you go. Surf does the trick. How's it feel to fail? Okay, alrighty. And then, well, let's see, we grow level, level 48, that's always good. So what's next? Who is next? The rain is continuing, Nessie is doing great. So let's go ahead and take on Rhyhorn, or Ry yeah, Rhyhorn, holy crud. He ain't even read, so here we go, let's get this. Let's go with the Surf Attack for the win. And come on, finish it off. There you go, Rhyhorn has been defeated. What now? Okay, alrighty. And Cinder has grown to level 55. So yes, my Pokemon are growing. And I think it might be time for me to just like switch up that experience here and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and continue it on right here with a Surf Attack. There we go. Surf Attack for the win. And well, Onyx not doing so great. That's right, Nessie, kicking butt, taking names. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Omastar is going to be coming out. Now, if you guys don't know, Omastar is, is part water-type Pokemon, so we do have to switch out the Pokemon. Grass-types are best to beat, uh, to beat Omastar, or, you know, a good fighting-type Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. Close combat for the win. 
And time to finish this one out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. And oh my god. So Omastar survives right here. And here comes a Brine attack. This is going to hurt. Because our, yeah, our defenses have gone down. And oh my god. Critical hit. You got to love that. Okay, so the rain has stopped. I sort of kind of helped it just a tad bit. So let's go with Dark Side. All right, Dark Side. Let's get this. All right, let's see what we can do. Dark side is whipping up a storm. Let's go with an earthquake attack. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Omasar defeated. Okay, alrighty. And well, let's see who's next. The sandstorm rages. He's coming out with Kabutops. Let's continue it on right here. And well, <laughs> inches. It's inches. Let's go with an Earthquake attack, and here comes a an Aqua Jet, the equivalent of a Quick attack right here, and that, ooh, that hits me pretty well. So here comes Earthquake for the win, hopefully for the win. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it. Damn it, okay, so yeah, we got a little something going. Here we go, full restore, Earthquake attack, and Nearly defeats this guy, so here we go again. He's using all his full restores, and little by little, we're just chomping at the bit. Come on, we need a critical hit. And it's using Endure, so yeah. There we go. Yeah, he was literally trying to make this whole this whole battle difficult for me. So there it is. We have defeated Brock for our 15th or 14th gym badge. Yeah, he's well kinda happy. Maybe a little bit. I don't even know. Your Pokemon power attacks overcame my rock-hard resistance. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Yes. We are throwing out that peace sign, and well, I really enjoyed battle with you, Draven. I'll give you this uh, move, Rock Slide, too. It can sometimes make your foe faint or flinch, and well, there it is, guys. TM80. The world is huge. There are still many trainers that are like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger too. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what happens. Anywho, yes, we have done it, guys. We have won another badge, and well, this, yeah, we we got it ways away. Like, you could you can't say that you know we're we're close to just like you know finishing up this walkthrough, but believe it or not, there's still quite a few things that we need to actually accomplish. First things first, yes, I want to finish out the gym battles right here. I want to finish out the gym battles. That, that, that phone is getting annoying. And then after that, we'll get to the legendary Pokemon, roaming and regular Pokemon. Because you guys already noticed, we got ourselves a Silver Wing. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be... Well, let's see. I think we'll be making a detour to Mount Moon. And then from there, going into the Viridian Forest. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. If you guys want any kind of merch, official merch from the GLD line, well... It's right down there. Just let me know. I'll see you guys later.